Hi Taurus, it's, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you are doing really, really well. And here in the U.S. this week we celebrate Thanksgiving. So I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving and hope that you have safe travels and an enjoyable holiday. With this weekly spread, we will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Tower Major Arcana. We have the Five of Cups and we have the Ace of Wands. So the Tower is a card um, as I like to say, what you see is what you get. People falling from the tower, lightning, flames, destruction, a jolt perhaps. And that's really what the tower is. It is, it's an upsetting of your routine of the way that you live on this day. Something is going to change for some. It may be a surprising upheaval for others. Maybe you've had a sixth sense about that. Something could fall apart, break apart a relationship, a friendship, a solid job. Uh, you know, something, something happening within the community. So the tower is about allowing the structure, the foundation to crumble. And what happens when we allow something to be broken apart like this? Well, we have the opportunity for transformation. We have the opportunity to restructure. We have the chance to rebuild. And with the thought of it being better for you, that you're going to be better served with a stronger, more stronger foundation. So the tower, while it can be very upsetting, it can be a surprise. It could be something just happens out of the blue. Or, you know, it could be something that maybe you've kind of had this inkling that it's going to, you know, something could fall apart here. And so how do we deal with these tower moments that everybody has within a lifetime? We chalk them up to experience. We chalk them up to important lessons. It could be uh, an occasion that you'll never forget and maybe one that you won't ever repeat that you've learned from it. And other times there are things out of our control that happened that become momentous and that we either have to rise to the challenge and move beyond it, or, you know, we collapse, collapse, I can't even say it, collapse under the weight. So if you can think of the tower that yes, while it may be a surprise, it may be a shock that ultimately this is going to be uh, work out for the better. You may not feel like it. There may be a process of time and it may ne take some time to get through this, but ultimately you, uh, you'll come out on the other side, hopefully in a better spot. So here's the cloaked figure looking down the five of cups, looking down at the spilt cups. This is a card about sadness. It's about regret. Uh, the feeling that maybe you've left something behind that you can't get back. Uh, it could be grief. It could, there could be many ways to think about this, but it really is focusing on the three spilled cups. And again, a sense of feeling upset. And you may feel like this after this tower situation, you may need to grieve. You may need to let your emotions come out. You may need to feel angry, you know, whatever it may be, allow yourself to express those emotions. It's, you know, when things happen that change our life or change our routine, if we try to restrict or to hold back those emotions, that's certainly not healthy. So allow yourself the time to do that. Then the only thing to say in terms of, of this five of cups is that Yes, we, we can feel regret. We can feel disappointment. We can feel shock. We can feel sadness and a sense of loss or a sense of wishing for something that that's never going to be again. 
But ultimately, you have to step away from that perspective. You have to put it in its right place within your life book and move on. Here are two cups that are full. This is a matter of counting your blessings. Despite the hardship, despite the tough times, despite what has happened, today, right now, if there are two cups standing, you probably have two cups more than maybe someone else who has no cups left. So count your blessings. And again, we don't want to live in this place of regret and sadness. We want to process it, acknowledge it, put it into our life book, and then move on. So tower, sadness, and we have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands could be coming in from the universe saying, I know that you've had some rough moments here, but I'm urging you not to forget to get to your core, which is to be inspired, to find hope, and to be creative, and to use your talents, your passions, your skills, to get back to something that's going to bring you some peace, bring you fulfillment, and bring you uh, contentment. So, you know, maybe this is, again, it's rebuilding, uh, re rebuilding something within your profession, rebuilding a new relationship, restructuring a business, perhaps a business that didn't work out. And you have to think about how you're going to bring it back. The Ace of Wands, gifts or blessings from the universe, and it's uh, telling you to go forth and to create. Don't get caught up in being inactive. Allow yourself the time to heal. Allow yourself the time to process and, again, to acknowledge and to understand what's happening and then think about how you're going to make it better. How are you going to draw the picture in your journal of what your life is going to look like, of the people that you want in your life, the type of residence that you live in, the place that you live in, draw it in your book, future planning, vision board, creation, taking the steps to create. If you need to, to re-engage socially, this is a wonderful card to network and to start to establish some um, relationships, business relationships, activity partners, uh, whatever it may be. So very interesting cards. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have, we have uh, 16, 21, and 22. And 22 is the master builder. It's a master number. The architect, the one who is able to create and to put these dreams and visions into place and to make them into a reality using your skills, your talents, your abilities. And that you are the architect of your life and you know you have the plans in your hand of what you want. Again, it goes to the vision. It goes to seeing how... Uh, the rooms look and how the house looks. You build that house with everything that you have. So it's simply a lovely number. Let's see if I added that right. I think I did. <laughs> I think I did. So to close the reading, let's choose a card for an affirmation for the day. Oh, beautiful card. Patience. Patience is needed when we have things that turn in a different direction. When we have bad luck, when we have unforeseen circumstances that really impact us. Patience is such a beautiful word to have patience and to have hope as well. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. And thank you for Romeo's birthday wishes. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care.